Vaccines are drugs that are developed to help prevent diseases. When someone gets a vaccine, they may get a live virus that's been weakened. They may get a dead virus, or as some of the new vi uh, vaccines coming out, may contain just components. The vaccines then stimulate the body's immune system, and you develop what we call antibodies, which are protective, that help fight the virus that you're receiving the vaccine for. The vaccine will hopefully either prevent the disease, prevent the severity of disease, and also cause you to mount enough of a response that you may not spread the disease as easily. Well, in the case of COVID, everybody should be vaccinated. There may be some few people who cannot get vaccinated because they're not allowed to get it medically, but we expect that to be very, very small number of people. The key is really to have everybody in the community vaccinated because what that leads to is something called herd immunity. That is, there are so many people protected that the virus cannot spread easily and eventually fades away into the background. Certainly one would always hear with the flu that if you take the flu vaccine, you're gonna get flu. But actually the flu vaccine is a virus that is not alive, so it can't happen. There will be the fear with COVID that you will get COVID. We do not believe uh, that in any way that that can happen because again, you're not getting a live COVID vaccine. There are sometimes side effects of vaccines and even occasionally side effects that can be serious, but they occur in a very, very small number of people. And what we have to do is weigh that slight risk for that versus protecting the whole population. The flu shot this year is extremely important because we do not know if you can get flu and COVID at the same time, for example, and one would suspect that if you did, you'd be a lot sicker than if you got either one alone. Number two, if you come down with flu-like symptoms, if you've had the flu vaccine, we will probably know that perhaps it's not flu and it could be COVID. Finally, again, from a public health viewpoint, flu, as we know, results in hospitalizations in older people and sometimes even leads to death. You're at least protected against that possibility while obviously trying to do social distancing, wearing masks may protect you from COVID. We're hoping for a COVID-19 vaccine very soon. The safety of the vaccine is really dependent on what the drug company does, the pharmaceutical company does to bring the drug to market and get FDA approval. By and large, the pharmaceutical industry has been very good about this. The FDA will look at the safety and efficacy. We will look at the safety and efficacy as well. This is an important issue, not only that we need to do for our workforce and our communities, but we need to do for ourselves and our families.